Hello, it's me Kevin and I am at Lebanon Hills Regional Park Campground in Apple Valley, Minnesota and I'm going to do my best to give you a very comprehensive tour um, of the entire campground, probably being able to go by all of the sites on all three campground areas. Starting out here in what's called the West Campground which has water, electric and sewer. This is where the uh, big pole behinds and motorhomes come in. Um, the office and shower facility is right there and we'll check out a map later, but this is the one close main road. It's called Johnny Cake Ridge Road. Down in that direction, um, a few miles around the corner is the Minnesota Zoo. Down in that direction, less than a mile, is the Lebanon Hills um, Mountain Bike Trail, which is a really, really great mountain biking trail. So let's get back to the car, and we're gonna start out taking a view of the sites at the West Loop, which is, again, water, electric, and sewer. And we're going to go to the North Loop, which is uh, just the rustic sites. No electric, no water, uh, mainly tenting. And then we'll take a look at the middle area. Actually, it's the eastern area, but that is electric only. So, looking at our map, that's what we have. Here's the mountain biking trail. This is north. Cliff Road runs about there. 35E is right over in this direction where my finger is off the map. But if you come down a cliff and go south on Johnny Cake, this is the mountain bike track. And, the, and that's part of Lebanon Hills Regional Park. And over here is the campground area with the trails. So the campground itself is just this little area here that we're going to be covering. Um, and then these are trails, equestrian trails or hiking trails, um, and cross-country ski trails. So starting out, as we zoom in, we're right here on the map, and we're going to take a drive through the West Loop, going around this direction, going past all the sites in the West Loop, then we're going to loop through to the North Loop, and then head back out to the East Loop, which is over here, and make one circle around that direction. So, let's get going. And again, we are starting right here on the westernmost part of the campground, which is the office and check-in. And I'll be kind of calling out the numbers as we go through. This is kind of the parking area. Uh, not real specific views and sites for you, um, but just in case you're following along on the map and wondering where your site might be. This is 45, for instance. I'll have the numbers um, available as generally as we drive by. So on the left, 47. All right, we got 48. Visitor parking, coming past 52. 53, 54, and then this is the middle road. We're going to take a right now. Right here, we've got sites 17 and 18. That's the way into the park. We'll be hitting that road in a little bit. This one on the side is 57. We're going to make one more loop through here, and then we'll be going down that direction, which is the uh, rustic area. But back on the outer loop of the west campground, headed back where we started. A lot of these sites obviously are similar. 23 on the right. 20, 21, 22 here on the inside. So not a lot of trees. We got a paved trail through here and gravel pads for everybody. Again, water, electric, and sewer at almost all of these sites so you can get your big, massive trailers in here. We got 30 on the inside as we're coming around the corner. 31 on the outside. This is where we're gonna exit when we see the uh, rustic area, 37, 
and we're coming back to where we started here. There's the registration building. And now we're going to go through the middle path on, again, the western campground, and then we will hit the rustic area. So this is site number two on the right. And site number three next to it. As we come around the bend, we got sites six, seven, and eight over here. A little marsh area between those and the ones behind. Site 10, 11, and 12 over here. To me, a lot of the, uh, the big monster pad sites are kind of similar, but you can get an impression of how much space you get. There's some tree coverage and Every site's got a uh, campfire ring. Okay, so heading back to our map. We are now going to, we've just done all of the west loop and now we're gonna head up the north loop, which goes up here. And these are all rustic sites with no water, no electric. So we're repeating our track right here as we come past 57 and then we're gonna head down this gravel. Um, down the hill and we can see the last water and electric site here at 58 and then we'll get into the rustic area. So this is site 58 kind of along the North Loop Road. And then we get to the rustic area. This is 59 on the outside of the North Loop. Most people here are going to have tents, maybe some pop-ups. This is site 60 on the inside. Unfortunately, a lot of the drive-in pads here aren't super level. They're kind of built into the side of a hill. Um, plenty of shade from the trees, small brush-style trees and some larger ones as well. This is site 62. They're just getting their tent set up. Site 63. This is a little road, probably maybe to the garbage and the maintenance facilities there. Um, and I uh, got the uh, porta potties back to the inside of the loop. This is a roundabout site 64. It's got a handicap label so you can pull in and pull out on both sides. 65, coming back up the hill. It's a nice site. 66, kind of a steep drive, but when you get in there, lots of privacy, and it looks level enough for a tent, fire pit, picnic table in there. 67, on the right hand side, not a lot of grass, kind of small, but uh, on the other side of that hill actually overlooks a pond, which is kind of cool, small pond. Coming up to 68 on the right, kind of open in the, and exposed here. Grass pad, 69 on the inside, and that's kind of not super level and kind of some dirt and gravel to set your tent on, probably won't be super level. We are now exiting the north loop, and once again we're going to have to retrace our steps past the office, and then we're going to be hitting my favorite part of the campground, my preferred area, which is the east loop. And as we kind of drive through this area we've been through already, I'll kind of fill you in on some information I know about the campground. Uh, I believe the campground generally opens in May of every year. And uh, this year, I believe, the last day is October 12th. And I think that's a little later than it's been in the past. I think it ended maybe the very beginning of October. So it's usually pretty popular. The weekends are almost jam-packed. And during the weekday, you can kind of get in here, um, even throughout the summer. Again, it's close to the Lebanon Hills uh, Regional Park mountain bike uh, track area, which is really, really, uh, really nice, popular, one of the best in the region. Um, very close to the Minnesota Zoo. Um, probably about a 15 minute drive from the Mall of America, maybe a 10 minute drive from the new Egan Outlet Centers in Egan. We're actually on the very north edge of Apple Valley and you go about a half mile north of here and you're actually in the city of Egan. 
Okay, we are headed out of the area we've been to already, so we've got a site we haven't seen yet here. Site 56. And we'll take a little loop here. This is a dump station, which is important. Got a couple of little options for dumping. And you'll start to notice as you drive through, there's a lot of paths kind of marked over there on the side. You got hiking, skiing, trails. And again, we are going to head into the East Loop now. And I'll give you a little preview. Here's the garbage recycling area. There's another trail that heads off into the woods. And when we get, get to the top of the squiggly little, little road, I'll give you a preview of what we've got for the East Loop. So you kind of got to go through these squiggly little trails. I guess it feels a little more woodsy. So this portion of the road is paved. There's another trail that goes out into the woods there. There's a pond and a field down there to hike through. We're now hitting the East Loop. I'll pull over, give you a little view where we are on the map. So, from the main part of the campground, again, from Cliff Road to Johnny Cake Ridge Road, we're entering the campground. So we are right there, about to go around this loop on the east campground. And what that's going to look like is generally we're right here, and we're going to go counterclockwise, starting at site 70, 71, 72, ending at site 92 and 93. So again, I'll try to call out the numbers as we go by. Um, and again, these sites are all... Uh, electric only, uh, no water, no sewer. But I mean, it feels like a state park up here. It's uh, mainly the pads are generally level, and you got a grass area, fire pit, and a picnic table. It's a site 70, kind of exposed right when you come in. You gather some water here at these little spigots that are interspersed throughout. This is site 71 on the right. Site 72 on the left. These very first ones and the ones we'll see leaving are kind of exposed, but as we get further down in here, you get a little more privacy and shade and a larger uh, campsite area. 73 on the right. This is a pathway to the bathroom. And over here, this is going to be Site 74. It's a pull through. Site 75 here on the right. Kind of exposed, nice and level. You get some tree coverage. This is going to be 76. Um, this is a good one. There's a little trail access at the rear of this campsite. Generally level if you want to pull in a pull behind. Um, the lengths are limited here, um, so you can't get the big trailers in here. Got 77 on the inside. Nice private even on the inside of the loop. Got 78. Kind of on level to the side, not a lot of grassy area. We're going to be hitting site 79 on the right. This is a good site, not super level, but if you can see in behind that awesome camper, there is uh, plenty of space around the corner with the fire pit, grass, trees surround, so you get sun and some shade. On the inside, we got number 80 into the woods. Here's another trail to the restroom area. Here's another water spigot. Coming down the hill we got site 81 which has really good access uh, to the restroom trail and you can get really deep into that one. 82. I think this one's a little unlevel um, for the parking pad but um, it's pretty shaded back there and you get a lot of space to yourself. Privacy. 83 on the inside level, surrounded by trees. 84 is a really good site. Narrow to get in, but you've got plenty of room, plenty of you know, tall trees for shade. You can get a camper in there and uh, have a nice picnic table. Another walkway to the bathroom. So those are interspersed everywhere. Looks like the people at 85 are having some friends over. Pretty decent site. Kind of open. Not as private as the uh, last few that we've seen on the outside. We can barely get a look in there with all the cars they've got. 
86 on the inside. A little unlevel walkway to the bathroom. Uh, this is a path you can go down and it leads to miles of trails back in uh, the rest of the park. Horse trails, hiking trails, skiing trails. We got 87 and we're coming back up the hill. So nice and private back in the corner there. 88, starting to get a little more exposed here, just kind of some small sumac trees. And on the other side of that is kind of the field um, where it's the grassy area, playground, and the restrooms. 89, coming to the top of the hill here. Site 90. And you'll notice I got a tent here, and on the back of that, it opens to a large grassy area, and then you can walk right over to the bathrooms and the playground. So kind of exposed, but if you don't like a bunch of trees, um, that's a nice site. 91 on the outside of the loop. Getting back towards where we started on the east loop. This is going to be site 92. Grassy area, open, not a lot of shade. And the last one in the east loop is going to be 93. Right here. Kind of goes deep back there. They got a little camper and a little thing set up. Way to the bathroom. Alright, so that is going to be it for our tour of Lebanon Hills Regional Park Campground. Again, we started at the West Loop, hit the North Loop, and we are ending uh, at the East Loop. Uh, great place to camp. Uh, hope you like the video. Thanks for watching.